this week, Lord, this week with the campers, with the staff, with everybody here, Lord. Father, we sense your Holy Spirit in this place. We know that you are here, Lord. But well, Father, I believe that there are many here, Father, that they need a touch from you, Lord. And perhaps they, just like me, back in the day, Father, they have been watching others receive something from you, Father, and they have not felt you as they need to yet, Lord. I pray tonight, Father, that you will give them a hunger. I pray tonight, Lord, that they will thirst for you. And I pray, Holy Spirit, that you will get a hold of them and that you will not let them go. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you will break any chain that needs to be broken in their life. But I pray, Lord, that you will set them free. And I pray, Father, that by the time that this service is over, Lord, that they will be a new person, Father. That they will experience the freedom that only you can give us, Jesus. Lord, we love you. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for what you have done, Father. And I thank you, Lord, for what you are going to do tonight. Because by faith, we believe, Lord, that you are here. And you said in your word that where two or three gather in your name, that you are in the midst of them, Father. And I believe that there is at least two people, three people in here, Father, that they are not here to play games, Father. I believe that there are at least three people that they are here because they want you. They need business. They need your presence in your life, Father. So so I believe, Lord, that you will move tonight, that you will touch us, that you will uh, transform lives tonight, Father. I pray for all the campers, Father, that you will move in a mighty way, Lord, in their life. For you, glory, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Let's put our hands together for the Lord God bless you, guys. Amen. Thank you, Brother Lesser. Praise the name of Jesus. <laughs> Brother Lester, he he told you campers, he, he, he told you his experience. And there is no doubt in my mind, some of you are sitting in the same seat, and literally, but, but also you're sitting there in the same seat that he was, in the same condition. You see other people being blessed. You see other people getting, receiving from Jesus. And you're thinking, why not me? It's because you haven't let go. You haven't, you haven't given it. You haven't released, you know, your will. So you've got to let go. And you've got to just let Jesus move upon you. Okay? You can't hold back. You can't keep holding on. Just let it go. And let Jesus move in your life. What we're about to see is a drama by, by the Soul Fire team. And what you're going to see is depicting the spiritual realm. There's a battle for your souls. There's a battle happening every day. The enemy wants to destroy you. The enemy wants to take you out. He doesn't just want to give you a splinter. He wants to destroy you. He's not joking around. He's not playing. And But there's one that is victorious over the enemy. The enemy's been defeated. The enemy cannot win. He wants to trick you and, and thank you, make you think that he can win. But he can't. He's already a defeated foe. But he's only defeated through Jesus Christ. And if you don't have Jesus Christ with you every day, you're going to be defeated because you can't do it alone. Man. So we need Jesus Christ. So as you watch this, just think, this is the power of Jesus that goes with me as a Christian. All I have to do is put Him first and follow after Him. So, here we go. Soul fire.
symbol of a spirit war between the one named Lucifer and the Morning Star, the ultimate of good. Enveloped by a trillion planets, clean as lightning and hard as granite, a cosmic coliseum would host the end of the war between the Lord of sin and death and the omnipotent creator of man's first breath, who will decide who forever will be the champion.
The devils roared in victory. The saints shocked and perplexed as wounds appeared upon his hands and feet. Then Satan kicked him in his side and blood and water flowed. And they waited for the ten count of defeat. God the Father turned his head, his tears announcing Christ was dead. The ten count would proclaim the battle's end. Then Satan trembled through his sweat in unexpected horror. Yet, as God started to count by saying, Ten. He waited. Nine. counting. Eight. Seven. Son of God, he did not succeed. Because on the third day, campers, on the third day, Jesus rose from the dead, defeating death, hell, and the grave forevermore. He is alive today, and he can help you each and every day. All you have to do is call upon him. Philippians 4.13 tells us, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Always hold on to Jesus. And now is your opportunity tonight to get more of Jesus. All right. So before we get into, go into the worship, we have one thing we need to take care of. And as much, as many church folk know that usually when you go to church, you take up an offering, right? So we're going to take up an offering tonight. And uh, if you haven't been with us any this week, well, you're probably in for a little bit of a surprise because... When we take up offerings at Star Valley Youth Camp, we get excited. All right? It's an exciting time. So if I can get some help up here, we'll go ahead and get started. If I can get my Slime Award nominees to join us up here, please. All right, so at the beginning of the week, we had all of our counselors up here. And the campers, the girls, have ended up choosing Brother Eli to receive the Slime Award nominee for the boys. And the boys ended up choosing Sister Katie to receive the Slime nomination for the girl counselors. So now, what we had to do is hope that our buckets will be sturdy enough. Now... I'm going to be right here. Don't get too close, campers, to the buckets, uh, but get close enough to put your offering in. And if you, this is how it works, if you want to see, now whoever of our counselors wins the Slime Award will, after service tonight, receive their award, the Slime Award, down here in the grass somewhere with a big, huge bucket of slime, Okay. So you'll get to see them slimed receiving their slime award. Now, 
If you want to see our lady counselor, Sister Katie Slimes, then this bucket here needs to outweigh this bucket. And it did a couple nights ago, believe it or not. If you want to see Brother Eli Slime, then this bucket right here, the girls' bucket, has got to outweigh the boys, which we're well on our way. So, if you will, go ahead and begin to bring your offerings. I think God has healed us in many ways. 
not only just this week, but he has shown me that even that if I didn't want the love one point back, I could always come back and give it. Amen. Thank you, campers. God is so good. Now, we're going to worship. And like we've said before, I just want to encourage you guys. Listen, this is your time to love on Jesus. Okay, don't hold back. This is the last night of camp. Certainly, do not hold back. God is here and He wants to love you. And He wants you to love Him. So, just join and participate tonight. Lift your praises to Jesus Christ and just love on Him. Angels, we men.
And every heart